It's a grown ass. Robin Slim Show. Hey, how are you? This is Greg. Good. How you doing, Gregory? Good. How you doing? Great, dude. All right, man. What's going we on? We just checked out your video before break. The uh, the wife beater. <laughs> Shit, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my it's god! A fan favorite. <laughs> I saw that. I like the one guy who said, "There's no excuse for domestic abuse." Shut up, dude. It's just <laughs> we've gotten a lot of threats too, man. We gotten we had one video we had to take down. People saying it was uh, like hate speech and all sorts of shit, man. <laughs> yeah, people just can't take a joke sometimes. <laughs> no, that was from another band you were in, right? Yeah, yep, uh, band Facecast. Facecast, yeah. Cool, man. And, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of views, dude. Hey, yeah, it's got a ton, you know, and it was also, t like I said, uh, I sent you an email earlier, and uh, it was taken down for a while. Uh, oh. A bunch of, like, small women's groups got together, and that's why I think we also got so many plays, you know, because <laughs> yeah. they, they were actually posting it on their site. <laughs> that, yeah, that's what the way the one was, and they were sharing it with all the yeah. rest of the group, and, yep. That's what happened, man. I was just saying, man, people love to get pissed off. They love to be offended. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the guy that said he's playing that at his wedding. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and the one, the one dude said that's not, or that's what she gets for not keeping the house clean. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't ask for a lot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a sandwich. Fucking vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm happy. <laughs> yup, that's it. I'm a simple man. You should have been drinking my beer anyway. <laughs> How long were you in uh, Facecast for? Um, uh, let's see. I think probably like six, seven years. Uh, on and off, you know. We, we just played uh, last January. Um, a year ago, January is pretty big show with um, you know, Skinless and a couple other bands. Nice. And uh, we, we play once in a while, but not too often, you know. Yeah. Was that your biggest song? Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, we got a bunch of songs that uh, people really didn't like that much, but that was a song, Life Feed was when we got the most, you know, um, <laughs> the most views and the oh, most, yeah. you know, everyone was into it. Notoriety. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the band you're in now is The Killing Condition. Right. Nice. And, and do you have an <laughs> album yet with them? No, we're uh, we're going in um, July to record. Uh, we did a small demo for uh, some labels, and we ended up talking to uh, a friend of mine, Vladimir, and he's from uh, Czech Republic. He did some stuff in my older band, uh, Wasteform, and we talked to him. And uh, he also books us like on really cool tours. So uh, he I he listened to the Kill Edition. He was really into it. I think it's a little bit faster and uh, the faster stuff I've done. You know what I mean? I'm pretty proud of it. Um, but yeah, he liked it, and. Uh, he, you know, he wants to put the record out, and uh, we're going to do some touring and stuff. So we're pretty excited. Nice. We're just finishing the writing process right now. Cool. And you, you do the, uh, the the vocals? Yeah, yeah, I do all the vocals. Nice, dude. And what was the other band you said? Straight Jacket. Yeah, Straight Jacket is the first band I started. Uh, like in 1995, I was 18, we started that. And uh, it got pretty big in, in the Albany area. We played uh, East Coast a lot, too. But... um. It was really big in Albany. We broke up 2001, and then 2004, we did a couple reunion shows, and we've done a couple since, but uh, I think the last one was probably four years ago. I don't know if we'll do another one. We may this year, because it'll be our 20th anniversary, but I'm still not sure about that. I've been pretty busy yeah. uh, writing with the Kill Edition and stuff, and before that, I was doing Waste Farm. We've done a bunch of European tours, so I've been pretty busy, you know, but uh, I've been doing music forever. That's I cool. love it. Yeah, man, that's awesome. European tours, man, is that's got to be wild. Oh yeah, it's insane. You know, we played uh, <laughs> we played everywhere. Uh, it's really great. You know, <laughs> we played some. You know, we played in front of twenty people, and we played in front of nine thousand. You know, you never really know. You know, but um, <laughs> the craziest show we ever played was in Croatia, and a big riot started uh, right after our set. <laughs> Uh, we were playing, and uh, all these Nazi skinheads, probably like 50 of them, were like marching up towards the show. And uh, the show we played was probably like four or 500 people, but it was all like uh, like, uh, like punk rock, like dirty punk rock kids, you know what I mean? And yeah. you know, all races and stuff, you know what I mean? All these 
skinheads came up and they were chanting and stuff and were like, what the hell is going on? I was making jokes about them outside, not not really knowing it was going to get get people like riled up. Uh, and we go outside and my drummer goes out first. He's moving out his drums. I'm still talking to people. Uh, my drummer, Kevin Carley, he comes back in and he's like, um, there's there's about 200 people outside fighting right by our van. <laughs> so we went outside and we're ducking like garbage cans and people are yelling at us and I had no idea what was going on. And then people were like, you know, you kind of started this. I'm like, no, I didn't. These guys marched up here. You know, I, I thought it was funny. I'm like, but I guess, you know, certain parts of the stuff is still really strong apparently, you know. Yeah. Uh, this big riot started, and I kind of thought I was gonna get kicked out of the country, but I was pretty lucky. <laughs> That's crazy, dude! Holy shit! <laughs> I was gonna ask if, 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 if any fights broke out of your shows. That's that's amazing. <laughs> you never really know what's gonna happen. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had anyone like rush the stage? Uh. Not really. Um, you know, I, people jump on stage all the time. We're playing and dive off. There was only like one incident where this guy like really didn't didn't like me. Apparently, I'm not really sure why. Uh, it was in Massachusetts, and apparently, I said something to him the last time we were there. It was in this little town, Attenborough, and he kind of jumped on the stage and like got in my face. And I turned around, and by the time I turned around, there was, like, three guys, like, dragging him out. That was, like, the only time, you know. Wow. Uh, we yeah. played some face cast shows, and, you know, women were yelling at me, but that kind of that kind of goes with that, you know. <laughs> yeah. It kinda adds, that kind of adds to merch sales at the end of the night, too, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I used to work for a radio station and, uh, a couple times. I remember one time I was at a, a bar. We were on stage, and this dude from Bacardi was, his thing was, uh, he would, like, blow fire and shit, you know, and uh, right. some dude tried getting up on stage, he just, this dude, B Bacardi Artie was his name, just kicked him right in the face, <laughs> just kicked him right in the fucking face, oh, wow. it was the coolest <laughs> thing, <laughs> and a couple other, I, yeah, I think the same gig, too, there were some other dudes, like, threatening us, because we wouldn't give them any t-shirts, I don't know if I had them or not, but uh, they, the, the, the bouncers were like, uh, they asked me what they, they said to me, and I told them, and then they ripped them all out of there. Because they said they were going <laughs> to fuck me up because I wasn't giving them t-shirts. Wow. I don't think I had any. I, I think I gave them all out or something. What's a rat t-shirt? Mm. You know, everybody wants something for free. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's just a shitty radio station t-shirt. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> stupid. That's it. They don't care what it is as long as it's free. Yeah. Yup. <laughs> I think I actually did have a bunch, too. I was just like, nah, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love being a dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a perks in it, man. It's getting warm in here. How are you feeling, Pete? Ah, uh, nothing yet. We got a nothing sick yet. intern tonight. Bubbling. And a little he's bit of bubbling or no bubbling? A little bit of bubbling. Bit of he's bubbling wearing an adult yet, diaper, yeah. and he's drinking some um, laxatives. <laughs> so we're waiting for that to start and i'm sick as a dog though we, we got this studio oh. covered in a uh, plastic wrap we're all ready for yeah this. there's plastic everywhere <laughs> at least he's going hard yeah he's a rock star and then I, I told one of my friends about that, you know, we were doing this, and he's like, what are, what are you paying the guy? And I'm like, nothing. <laughs> we gave him a promotion. He used to be an uh, intern, now he's executive intern. Executive intern, and he's, <laughs> we, we promote his uh, demolition service. He, he runs a demolition company. Yeah, he just puts holes in people's walls and stuff. <laughs> nice. He's an animal. You don't even know where the holes go, and he just, you can't tell him where to put it. He just puts it in there. <laughs> yeah, whatever I want. <laughs> We recommend you get a hotel for a week after you hire him. Yeah. <laughs> and fumigate. And fumigate. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, man. We've been getting a lot. We had a lot of, like, lawsuit threats, too, man. Three times. We've been doing this for under this show. We've been doing under six months. We've already been threatened with lawsuits three yeah. times. We... Oh, good for you. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's, that's what I said. Um, My mom friend, I told him about it. He's like, you're going places. Yeah, that's how you know you're doing something. Right? Pissing off one group a week. That's uh, that's good, man. We had a group of people, about 10 of them, on Twitter 
Tell everybody to mm. block us because all we do is talk about rape and we disrespect all women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. People think I'm crazy, but any kind of attention is good. That, you yeah. Know what I mean? That's it, man. That's, that's, when I worked in radio, that's what they taught us. Bad publicity is, is still publicity. <clears throat> yeah. I so I'm not gonna lie, man. I get a little nervous sometimes just because mm. of uh, the world we're in right now, man. People will ruin your life over some of the stupidest things. So it gets scary, but you know. Yeah, so getting... I still get that knot in my stomach sometimes. Yeah. And... Oh yeah. But you get to the point where it's like you gotta stick to your guns because it, like we've taken things down in the past and we both felt really bad about it. You feel shitty about it, and you're like, yeah. Well, if we keep doing this. You, our fans are gonna stop. Uh, are gonna start mistrusting us. You're, you know, and you're just gonna lose face in a lot of people. So you gotta just stick to what you do, even if it is wrong. It's whatever. It's done. The video's staying up, and that's that. Ah. Yeah, you know, you can never regret what you do. You can only, I only regret like what I haven't done. You know. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. Nice. Yeah, man. That's cool. Nice. What are you doing shows right now with um? With the Killing Condition, or are you just doing uh, the recording? Uh, we played some shows uh, a little bit last year, a few, and um, we kind of we kind of stopped because things weren't really going the way we wanted to. Um, the vision that me and the drummer had for the music kind of wasn't working out to how we wanted it. Uh, we had so we got a few different members, and um, everything just kind of took off from that. Uh, we, we've been posting here and there, like just just some practice videos and. You know, the response of people's been really good, and um, we're really excited. Um, and I can't wait to get the album done. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be sick, you know. And yeah. then, you know, once it gets once it gets released, um, then we'll probably start playing, like, a lot, you know. Nice, dude. Yeah, because I went to look up the band today on uh, on YouTube, and all I could find was that one, uh, was it trailer for the, for the album? Right. The, the the preview or whatever, but yeah, I didn't know if you guys had any other songs out there. Yeah, well, like I said, we just recorded a small little demo just for labels. Uh, we put a couple songs on our page, but um, even those those two songs don't really represent what we're doing. Um, the stuff is just so much faster and so much more aggressive, but still has you know some cool medley parts and some black metal touches. It has everything, you know, and the yeah. lyrics are. You know, I'm really happy with the stuff I'm writing, you know, I'm made about all the stuff that I hate, you know, like, yeah. you know, the comedy that's, you know, organized religion, stuff like that. You know, I'm really excited for this project. Nice. That sounds awesome, dude. Yeah. Did you say you, you hate organized religion? <laughs> yeah. Who yeah, doesn't? Man, I agree. <laughs> it's it a mess. BS. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking business. That's a joke. They're just yeah. did it for the money. Yeah. And everything contradicts itself. It just sucks. Yeah. And, and the hypocrisy, yeah. too, like, you know, they preach against fucking, like, marijuana and shit, but and then the fucking bitches get together and fucking, you know, they drink wine and pop fucking pills and shit <laughs> while they gossip about everybody in town. Like, shit, man. Yeah, love everybody but hate gays. <laughs> yeah, that too, exactly. <laughs> we were trying to get that one bitch on um, Shirley Phelps Roper from, uh, <laughs> I don't know, right. from the uh, Westboro Baptist Yo, Church. Yo, it's time. Oh, it's time! Oh, it's time. we're going. Take we're going. That. Take the mic. Our intern has a sour stomach. <laughs> sour. He's gonna puke. <laughs> he should. He can I hope he can't you get the mic. <laughs> there we go. Are He's... you feeling sick? No, not at all. So not what? At what, all. what time? It then you're just going by what the uh, the bottle. Wait, said? you were supposed no, to no, shit no, the no. diaper. No, no, no. Oh. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Uh, yeah, you're supposed diaper. to sit in the diaper. That's why. Uh, oh, well. Stay wait for a picture first. All right. <laughs> All right. You said somebody's wearing a diaper? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll send you the picture. We'll tweet it out to you. Lens error. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, he's in an adult diaper. He's, he's got a man <laughs> pad in there and everything. He's got an ass pad. Hurry up. Because... A man pond. Wait, I got to turn the camera on. <laughs> All right. We, I gotta get like five more pictures. Right. Yeah! Pull, pull the flash up too, see if it does any. Makes any Look at that oh, bulge. No, you're good. <laughs> no, you don't need a flash. Look at that fucking bulge. Oh, that's amazing. We should get a back view. 
Turn I'm around. Turn around. around. Yeah, let's all, let's see your ass. Come on. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. It kind of looks more like a skirt. <laughs> it it looks really heavy. I thought you were gonna shit. <laughs> no, no, I, in the I, diaper. I did. Ah! I did. In there. <laughs> he shit in the diaper. He so doesn't smell anything. I guess he doesn't have. <laughs> it's not that bad today. <laughs> Make sure you get all the audio too, Pete. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's like put one cheek up and yeah. get the mic in there. In the, in the mic, that way, absolutely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're... there's one for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. Pete's amazing. Pete is so much better than that other guy we had. Oh yeah, we used to have this this young douchebag. I think he died. <laughs> um, oh, I was actually going to ask you that. Being in all these, uh, you've been in a lot of different bands and stuff. Has there been any like bad blood for like you know some of the the breakups or anything like that, or any of the guys that left bands? Was it because of bad blood or just moving on? No, not, no, not really. I mean, a, a few issues here and there, but nothing really, nothing, you know, nothing big. Yeah, um, I can still pretty much talk to most of the guys, you know. Um, Maybe a, couple, maybe a couple guys in straight jacket or whatever, but um, for the most part, no. All the guys in base form, you know, I could probably talk to. You know, I, when when we were touring, um, certain guys just couldn't do it, so we yeah. had to get different members. Um, a lot of people were upset about that, but you know, we had to keep moving forward. Yeah. But overall, no, not really. I mean, maybe, <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe a little bit, but I guess I don't really know about it. Yeah, did right. you have to, like a lot of different members, or was it the same core guys? Oh, man, I've been through so many members, <laughs> especially uh, when uh, Wasteform was touring. Tons and tons of different members. Yeah, probably fifteen, sixteen different members. Maybe sometimes I'm not the easiest person to work with, you know, right. because you know I just want to I just want to keep going. Yeah, I want to just yeah. keep doing stuff, you know, and I didn't really care about. You know, other outside lives, you know, I just cared about what the band was doing. And, you know, it didn't, it didn't work out the best oh, sometimes. Shit. So I had different members. It was like a swinging door. Yeah. We got, we have one buddy who was uh, like a lead singer in a band, and I guess they just got rid of him recently. And he keeps sending me all these messages to unlike them on Facebook. And I'm like, dude, I'm not unliking them. You know, I'm not putting myself in the middle of this, man. Like, <laughs> I like the band. They've been yeah. on our show. I have really no cool problem guys. with them. Yeah, it's just I'm... a real girly thing to do. Like, oh, remove them. Who cares? Move on, man. You don't like the band, whatever. Move on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I... Dudes don't ask other other dudes to unlike bands and unfriend people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send a mass Facebook message out right now and be like, everybody, unfriend Rob. I figure <laughs> when we go to court, you'll be like, he's the asshole. He's the uh, he's the racist fucking That's the plan. I got sexist all bag of shit. Already. Just give me a deal, you know. He roast him. How you doing in that, Pete? All right. Any uh, any action? Oh yeah, yeah. Plenty. <laughs> you okay to drive? No, not at all. I might need a trash bag and a glass of water. If that's cool. When, when you guys go up there. Of of oh, I hope so. Another one of these. <laughs> you just pour Thomas water said, and just fill it up no. with an accident. <laughs> Pete, do you have headphones? Can you hear us, Pete? Or you can't even... Yeah, I hear everything you're saying. Oh, oh, all right. But you don't have the headphones on, though, so you can't hear, like, the guest or anything. No, I don't hear the guest. <laughs> well, he's talking mad shit about you right now, man. Yeah, he's missing out. <laughs> he said, if you don't drink another one, you're a pussy. <laughs> Our guest just said, if you don't drink another laxative, you're a pussy. <laughs> what should I leave this here for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Pete, the, uh, the water is uh, right in front of the door. Whenever you're ready, you can open the door and grab it. Where's the what are you looking for? Trash bags? Trash bags. Uh, underneath the sink. Open up the, the cabinet right there, and there you go. Trash bags. Nice. Awesome. Rib for your pleasure, Pete. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, Jules uh, is mad at you. She had to throw her... for autograph and uh, sent out to me. <laughs> people I, I'd, uh, I'd like to send that to. <laughs> Pete, <laughs> we're saving that diaper to send out. Uh, we're autographing gonna, that. Yeah, you got to sign it too. 
Uh, <laughs> I'll make him famous. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, your stuff's at the door, bro. All right, I'll take it. Hold up. I'm gonna get a picture. <laughs> I'm literally pulling the diaper back up over. Oh, I don't pull the diaper up. Nobody's looking. <laughs> I got the camera. The camera's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in there, Pete? <laughs> How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good. Oh, he's coming out. Oh, there you go. Got the water. He wants the other drink. <laughs> ah, he's spilling everywhere. And I'm taking that. <laughs> Greg, are you thinking right now, like, what the fuck did I call into? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would even come in today. Well, our one buddy, Matt, our other intern, he wanted to come in, but he had uh, something for school. And our other buddy, Mike, we asked him, he's like, I don't think I can handle that. <laughs> he's like, I cannot handle that. <laughs> I'm actually having a good time. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, dude. Thank you. And don't sue us. Whatever you do, don't sue us, Greg. <laughs> or sue us, whatever. Yeah. I don't care at this point. Just please sue us. I did want to say, because you did, uh, Rob brought up a good point. He's like, you know, he figures when we go to court, I'm just going to be like, it's all, you know, Rob. Rob's the racist. Where, in the most part, it's true for the most no. part. But, uh, no. but I, wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't do that because as far as we're a group, we're doing this together, and I'm complicit Your in all of it. Your name's on it. Your name's My name's on it. it, and I'm complicit in all of it. I can easily shut the mics off. I can easily quit the project. I can easily stop uploading videos, but I'm not. So if one of us gets in trouble, we're both going at it, and that's that. Like, Pete, if I got a piss, can I go on your lap? Oh, I <laughs> say you got to take it outside. Uh, oh, shit, bro. I mean, you got the pads. You got. I just put in a diaper on and just piss in a diaper for the rest of the Slim. You want to wear one? No, I'm not wearing. Oh, I got, got, a, got the other one. bottle of drink if you want, dude. This is the uh, small medium, the smedium. <laughs> it came with all these different sizes. This is probably what he should have been in, cause it's the small medium. Yeah, it's you want the small medium for after you're done, Pete? Am I starting to smell it? I think I'm starting to smell it. Oh man! I don't smell nothing. I smell something. You can put that on your under your nose. That's what they put. <laughs> on, that's what cops do when they find a corpse. It's the uh, Vicks vapor rub. <laughs> Vicks vapor rub. You just wipe it under your nose. Do they really do that? They, yeah. they put that. I never knew that. Yeah, when they uh, exhume a, or when they find a dead body or whatever, they put that on before they go in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah! Oh, all right, Greg. We gotta uh, start wrapping this up, dude. We gotta. Another call in a few minutes, but uh, tell everyone where they could find you. Yeah, you can find our page on Facebook. Um, it's just a Kill Edition band page. Uh, definitely give us a like and share it. Uh, I'm also on Twitter at uh, Gregory P. Kennedy. Um, all the other bands, they're all on, all on uh, Facebook. Uh, just search the name. Cool, dude. All right. And check awesome. out the wife beater video. You'll love it. Yes, I, I've been telling everybody to just look up face cast wife beater on YouTube. It's the first thing that comes up. It's amazing, dude. Thank you so you much, Gregory. Okay. You, you, well, real quick. Uh, yeah. You also find this thing somebody did with uh, Rugrats characters to the wife beater song. It's pretty good. It's like nice. deep in the corners of YouTube, but you'll find it. That's <laughs> nice. That's fucking you know, awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming right, on, thank brother. You. Cool, man. Take care. You too. Take care, Greg. Later. Say goodbye, Pete. Later, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Later, Pete. <laughs> All right, guys. We're uh, going on break. Jewel we'll said she had to throw out her ice cream she was eating. She said, thanks, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Pete's amazing. I guess we love you, and Lucas. Thank and you, I, Gregory. You, you motherfuckers you, Gregory. come back and listen. And now. thank you, executive intern Pete. Pete, you're the man. Thank you. you. Thank you for sticking on the mic. He was and planning on sticking in your ass. <laughs> yeah, no, he's I gonna take your a nap. Com your commitment to bits is amazing. I love your cum. <laughs> now, now I gotta take a nap. All right, all right, guys.